What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about The Mandalorian Chapter 3, The Sin. Before we get started, I'd just like to say thank you all to my proper compadres. You are awesome. Thank you everyone who has liked and subscribed. You are awesome. Thank you all so much. If you are new here, do hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications because YouTube's been having issues with that lately. And of course, you know, with all the regulations and stuff that are coming in, in January, it's going to be a lot harder for individual creators like myself and others to be able to freely produce content. So all of your support is very much appreciated. Thank you all so much. Now let's get back to The Mandalorian. So we start out pretty much where episode two left off. The Mandalorian and Baby Yoda are in the spaceship together and Baby Yoda gets out of his little crib thing and just plays with a knob on a on the lever on the control panel and he's like, no, 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 it's not a toy. Like he's about to eat it or something. I don't know what's going to happen, but oh well, I think it's a cute moment and it's actually really important later in the episode. And something that I was kind of afraid of when the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda go to where the client is, Werner Herzog. And so one thing I was kind of worrying about is is this guy gonna give up Baby Yoda? It seems as though the Mandalorian for a second might reconsider what he's doing, and it seems like he really likes this little creature, this little guy. So what is he what is he to do? Like he he wants the money, right? So he goes in and he actually does it. He he gives Baby Yoda up. I was like, what is going on? Why are you doing that? But at the same time, he like he got all that he needed and he got himself. Pretty much like an upgrade of armor, which is cool, I guess. But, you know, at first, you know, there was this whole sequence that, that took place in uh, the little the Mandalorian hub, if you will, where all these other Mandalorians are around. They're kind of jealous of what the Mandalorian got. At first, I didn't understand why we were spending so much time here, like, seeing the process. But I, And this has been happening now twice, when the Mandalorian is getting new armor, a new patch, or a new shoulder pad, but now it's a whole outfit. He, for some reason, gets flashbacks of his childhood when his parents died and they put him in this little shed thing and it just, and there were explosions. And I guess this happened when he was a child, so maybe it was during uh, the rise of the Empire, which is nice and all, but I feel like we, you know, we just saw that already. Maybe we just saw little flashes, but that, that's all we really needed. We didn't really need to see that again, but maybe it's trying to tell us that this whole armor thing is giving the Mandalorian PTSD or something. But it does kind of play out a little later in the episode when he does eventually find out that maybe, hey, uh, maybe giving up Baby Yoda wasn't the right thing to do. He kind of felt obligated and responsible for this child because they're going to kill him. And no one wants to see Baby Yoda die. That'd be horrible. So eventually, after some squabbling back and forth with the other Mandalorians and you know, they pull knives on each other and I guess there's some sort of and it happens kind of quick too they just have this little argument and then all of a sudden no we have to remember that we're a unit and all that stuff I really didn't care for it it was but it does play an important part a little later and then we have a couple of scenes with the Mandalorian just kind of reflecting on what he's done he goes back to the ship to go to the next mission he just wants to move on what's the next bounty and he sees the little knob that baby yoda took off and he just looks at it and he puts it back on as he's about to start the ship and then he stops it and then he gets out and he goes to rescue baby yoda in this amazing heist of st of stealing baby yoda and there is a moment actually when he's using like the his binoculars to kind of see and also whatever this rifle thing is on his back can do pretty much everything he can do some serious reconnaissance he can literally obliterate people it with it and it's i want that weapon Seriously. So he overhears Warner Herzog and talking about the asset, and then he sees in a dumpster the little cradle that he was in and his blanket too. And it's just like, did they kill him already? They just threw him in a dumpster? But of course, Baby Yoda is still alive. And so he goes and storms the base and kills a bunch of stormtroopers in epic fashion, or at least it would be epic fashion if it weren't censored and cut down for Disney Plus, because there's a lot of violent things that happen, but we don't get to see some of the gory details. Like, if you want to make something more gritty and more adult-themed and oriented, then why don't you just go for it? That's one of the issues that I have. Some of the deaths in here would be a lot more epic if they had a more PG-13 
or at least like very slight R rating film. Like he, someone gets like stabbed in the back, and you don't see any blood at all. You don't see. It would be awesome to see the knife come out of his chest. Like that would be awesome. But no. And also going back to the first episode when the guy's cut in half, it's it's just like crush. That's it. Not even like a sound effect or anything. Like it would have been cool, but it's just like you gotta go for it. And that's one thing that I don't think the Mandalorian does correctly is they don't go. For the balls to the walls kills. They don't do it because it's on Disney Plus. And that kind of bums me out. But anyways, the Mandalorian finds Baby Yoda and takes him with him and rescues him. But no, we're not done yet. I mentioned earlier that the bounty, everyone, everyone in the city, uh, for some reason, had this bounty. Like, has a GPS location on Baby Yoda. How they all got it, I have no idea. Did they all try to go and find him? No clue. Is everyone a bounty hunter in this village? I guess so. Maybe this is the kind of town that is ju they're just bounty hunters. Maybe that's how they feel their economy. I don't know. It just seemed a little weird that everyone in town decided to come after the Mandalorian while he's carrying Baby Yoda to his ship. But anyways, Carl Weathers stops him and he basically says like, give up the baby or I'll kill you. And then we get into an epic fight sequence when everyone's shooting at him. And then right when the Mandalorian is about to lose, all these other Mandalorians from the previous scene all come down with their jetpacks and just destroy everybody. They kill them all, pretty much wipe out the entire town because they all had blasters and they decided to get into a gunfight with Mandalorians, which was not a good idea. And it was kind of awesome. But then at the very end, when he's about to get on the ship, Carl Weathers stops him and he says, give me the baby. And then he just kind of, I guess in just some lame way, he just like pulls a plug and there's fog or something that comes in. And then he, he stops, I guess, and he doesn't fire. And then the Mandalorian just shoots him because I guess fog blinds him and he doesn't know how to shoot forward even when uh, i don't know then he gets shot in the chest and then he actually survives because the little black things that are like credits that the mandalorian used to make more armor he conveniently had it in his chest right where the Mandalorian shot him. Very convenient, but you know what? The plot needs to happen, and I'm sure Carl Weathers is gonna do more evil things later on down the road, so whatever. But it felt like kind of a, a real Clint Eastwood kind of moment where he has like the bulletproof vest on, but it's just like a little, <laughs> a little bit of it, so if he had shot anywhere else, he would be dead. <laughs> I don't know why he just happened to get so lucky. Just, But Star Wars is full of conveniences, so whatever. It's just a minor issue that I have, but, you know, doesn't really take away my enjoyment. So then Mandalorian and Baby Yoda are back on the ship, and Mandalorian just takes off the little, the little knob on the lever and gives it to Baby Yoda to play with as a toy, and they go off on their next adventure. And that's pretty much where it ends, and you know what? I think that this was a pretty good episode. I give it a solid 8 out of 10. I think it's better than the other two episodes because at least they had an ending. Like, this whole three-episode arc, it could have been, like, an easily a 90-minute movie and it would have been just as satisfying. I feel like that that's what the intention was. It, there was a beginning, a middle, and an end, and I feel very satisfied. And I want to see more adventures of The Mandalorian and Baby Yoda. And I'm very interested in what happens next with these characters. I think it was great character development to see The Mandalorian be able to just internally reflect. And it, it's just... It's just a testament to Pedro Pascal's acting when you see that moment where he's looking at the little knob and reminding himself of Baby Yoda and just contemplating what the right thing is to do. He's wearing a mask and he's in full body outfit, but you felt whatever he was feeling and you got it. And I just think that that is brilliant directing, brilliant acting to be able to convey a message without being able to emote. It makes it a lot harder. So I think it was very impressive. So acting 10 out of 10. Great job, guys. And then everything else was great. Um, and I'm very excited to see what they do next with these characters. And I'm still curious. I'm still wondering where are these other characters going to come in that were advertised in the trailers. And I'm excited for the next five episodes. But that's just me. What did you all think? Did you like chapter three? Did you not? Tell me why in the comment section down below. And that's where I'm gonna end it. Thank you all so much. Once again, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications. I greatly appreciate that. Share this video. All that fun stuff. Thank you all so much and have a great day.